Hello, I'm the one nerd, and I'm going to do a series of vlogs, devlogs, where I attempt to create a simple uh, VR game for the Quest 2. See how I get on with this, I'll just document the process and uh, yeah, talk about it. But the idea of this devlog series is that I'm going to use VR to create the models for the game obviously for a developing the actual game i'll be doing that on a desktop but uh, it'll be mostly just a way of recording and reflecting an experiment with doing vr development for the quest 2 specifically for the meta quest which i've been lucky enough to get a hold of a headset for but yeah the basic idea is that yeah i'm going to start painting in 3d within MetaQuest, within various apps that I can find, export those models out and then try and for, create a game around it. So my first bit of work doing that today was literally just trying to create a test environment, something very basic. I'm still getting used to the um, VR app painting experience, so I'm still a bit of a noob at that. Uh, but yeah, I've managed to get a very weird basic environment made. I think I'm gonna make some sort of game with sort of like alien environments make it very simple maybe so you can jump between a few of them because uh, like i said it's mostly an experiment but yeah i drew drew something extremely basic played around with some of the material settings and i'll just show some of that here okay let's move back a bit get to here do be able to see the pass through so I can see what I'm doing. Right, let's do it. What was this? I can't see the bloody. Ugh, whatever. New sketch. Uh, new sketch. Uh, I know it. Wait, what do you know it? Go away. Ugh, I've used it before. Go away. What does that say? Go away, I don't care. I know, I already know all this. Yes, I know. I'm playing, <laughs> start the plane. First, I've got a soft cube. Oh. Mm -hmm. I can move that, I guess, at some point. So, I need to create first some sort of environment. So let's create something simple at first. This would be a nice little experiment, I guess. Right, where? Grab it. Oh, no, no, no. Ugh, I want to grab that one. No! I grab that. Oh, yeah, move it around like that. That's good. Right, let's do that. I think we can reflect it, that's good. What's this material saying? Let's just take it. Okay. Let's do it, use this. Whoop! Something very generic at the minute. Point I can do point drawing, so that might be quite interesting to explore. I'll try. I mean, I've got to come up with an idea for a scene. So, right, um, try and do something like. Oh God, fucking. Right, and then, hmm, how does that actually? Fin how do you actually finish it? Okay, it's done. I want to finish the line. Okay. So we can do a line like that. Right, do I join it up? How do I actually finish the line? Design. Yes. Okay. Oh, stop it. Undo that. 
Okay. That's it. That's it. I don't want to finish the bloody thing. There you go. Oh, that you have to join it up. Okay, get that now. That makes sense. So, I need to grab this guy. This cube. Grab it. What do I add? Can I add the... No, 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 no! Ugh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stroke. Oh, yeah, okay, right, you can do that. Change the colours. To green. So I make some sort of... Thing like grass or something. So, not reflective, maybe flat. Gloss, no flat. Mm, so, I'll start making it so it's just like some manner of grass, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I'll make a surrealist park of some sort. I don't know. I'll get a bit closer like that. Try to make some sort of environment, yeah, like this. It's an experiment anyway, I suppose. So we get some grass. Um, let's try and create a mirror. So if I go, maybe um, precise quilt, sort of cube. I got a text as well. So go for cube. That one, and then go reflective. I don't want it to be that color though. Yeah, it's like white, white, and gloss. And let's go. Oh, right. So that should be sort of shiny. Oh, I need to pick this up somehow. Not sure yet how to do that. Oh, yeah, I'll drag it. There we go. Put that there. Uh, put that here. Possibly delete it as well, maybe. Mm -hmm. you can put that wherever as well. Put this. Okay. That's quite cool already. That's a free one. We'll just freeze that. This floor needs to be a different colour, so how would I do that? How would I edit? Oh, I'll just save what I've got already. Save. Oh. Okay. There we go. So go back here. Uh, resume. Yep. Okay. So start getting something going. Just have to make sure I don't bump into anything. So got this here. It says sketching tools. Teleport. Uh, sketch. Yeah. Measure. Oh. Do scale with that, I guess. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can actually scale it up like that. Okay, interesting. So I'm 100%. Go. Back at the gravity sketch again and resume. Right, right. Grass. Put grass on. Ugh. Sort of weird uh, park, isn't it? Really, sculpture in a park. Uh, eat. Uh, go away. Go away. The video saved. Why is that still there? Okay. Yeah. Great. Go away. Resume. Yes, I get it. Go away. So on the menu, the UI that pops up is just horrendous sometimes, the way it just overlays. Like, how do I get rid of this now? How? Let's <laughs> uh, do that. Give it a bit more colour. Let's um, go final line. And I guess a bit more colour. Something like blue gloss. Something quite interesting. Not that. Oh, it's too fine. Too fine. Uh, no stroke. There we go. I don't know, I'm just going to improvise some random stuff. Do do do. Do do do. 
This is gonna be some sort of weird alien environment. Let's try and make an a A-frame thing for this project. That is just just a weird alien-y type of environment. That wasn't quite a good way to start. And then yeah, I got this on there. You can do just weird stuff, that's easier. Okay. So yeah, if I create that, and then that's quite interesting. And then I'm gonna from here, right? And then we're like sort of like looping through here, which is always a cool thing to do. Wait, there we go. Connect to that. Oh, knocking into things now. <laughs> there we go. I'll paint a sort of screen here of some sort, maybe. That looks terrible. Ah, oh, no, nope, not that. There we go. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, that looks weird. Oh. I'll try and just paint it on. Something like this. Looks weird, but. Alright. There we go, I'll do for something. Save. Upload it to uh, that. Okay. And that's that. Exit. It's one model done. Now let's see if I can get it into an A frame scene. So next stage, obviously, and which I'll cover in Devlog 2, is to create some more of those scenes. We'll do like a time lapse of that next time. And then uh, start thinking about actual game mechanic, because at the minute there isn't actually any game behind any of these very rough ideas. But this entire vlog series is going to be an experiment for me, just to see how, like... Uh, sort of workflows you can use for VR. Obviously, it should be interesting if you're interested in that side of things with VR development. I'm quite new to the Quest, so I know I've used it a bit before. I'm still getting used to the experience of using it, so I've definitely found that a bit frustrating at times, as you can probably tell from the, some of the language I used when I was uh, doing some of the 3D painting. In fact, probably the most frustrating thing I've found about the Quest is just the interface at times can be just confusing. Like, what do I click now? How do I, why do all these things keep popping up? So it's definitely necessary to have quite regular breaks, otherwise it can get quite confusing. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'll do a carry-on vlog from this. Like, obviously, this is just a start with the painting there. 
trying to use the painting up and uh, I'm probably going to use Unity, I think. I'm going to try and do where I use Unity for VR, but I might do A-frames, I haven't decided. 